The first king of Israel was Saul, who ruled for 40 years. The second king was David, who also ruled for 40 years. David had a son through Bathsheba named Solomon. Solomon became king and ruled for 40 years. It's getting serious on this track, fam. My name is Rehoboam. My friends, and I have lots of friends, they call me Ray. Hey, Ray. What's up, man? I'm chill. Cool. Get it? Cool? Chill? It's a joke. Dude, Ray, you are funny. I told you I have lots of friends. My dad, good old King Solomon, he had lots of friends too. He was king for 40 years. Hey, Ray. Sorry about your old man passing on. Yeah, thanks. Everyone's got to go sooner or later, right? I thought he was gonna die years ago, but he kept on living and living and living and living. It was a real pain, to be honest. Are you king now? King of all Israel. Cool, hey, know that you're king. Got any plans for Thursday night? It's party time! My house, I mean, my palace. Let's have some fun. Sweet. King Solomon was a harsh king, and by the time he died, the people no longer loved him, but hated him, especially people who did not belong to the tribe of Judah, which was David and Solomon's tribe. Even worse, Solomon worshipped idols. God decided to take most of the kingdom away from Solomon and make Jeroboam, Solomon's best administrator, the new king. Solomon heard about this and tried to have Jeroboam arrested and put to death. But Jeroboam got away. Now he has heard the news that King Solomon is dead and he wants to meet with King Rehoboam, Solomon's son. Jeroboam is hoping that Rehoboam will lighten the heavy load of work for the people. He has come to meet him in Solomon's palace. See? When you're king, you can do anything you want. Nobody can say no, cause, I mean, you're king. And that's what I am, king of all Israel, your majesty. Jeroboam, what are you doing here? I have come to condole with you at the loss of your father. But my father hated you. I did not hate your father. I just wanted him to stop making his people work so hard. Hard work is good for a man. But your majesty, you never worked a day in your life. I am not just any man. Jeroboam, I am the king. But King Rehoboam, your father made our people work as if they were slaves. But we are free Israelites in our own land. We are not in Egypt, and you are not Pharaoh. Yes, but they got a lot of work done, didn't they? But the people began to hate your father, and what is your point? It's time for Rehoboam, His Majesty the King Rehoboam. It's time for His Majesty the King Rehoboam to make the people's load light again. What? Are you daring to tell the king what to do? I am your humble servant, Your Majesty, just a lowly, humble servant. If you are so lonely, why are you wearing a crown? Well, uh, you, you see, uh, uh, there are rumors here, Mr. Lowly Jeroboam, that the prophet Ahijah poured oil all over your head to anoint you as king over Israel. But I am king over Israel. I seem to remember something like that. How dare you allow that? God himself sent the prophet Ahijah to me. I had no choice. He had no right to do that. Israel is my kingdom. Well, that's confusing. The prophet Ahijah said that Israel was God's kingdom. I wonder who is right, you or God? Well, God gave it to my grandfather David. 
and David gave it to my father Solomon, and my father Solomon gave it to me. It's mine. The prophet Ahijah said that God was tearing ten tribes away from you and setting me to rule over them as king. That's all I can say. That is impossible. I will not allow it. The prophet Ahijah said that God is allowing you to keep Jerusalem and the tribes of Judah. I will keep all of them. Listen, King Rehoboam, your father Solomon treated us harshly and placed heavy burdens on us. If you make these burdens lighter and make life easier for us, we will all be your loyal subjects, all twelve tribes of Israel. Will you now? Okay, come back after three days and I will give you my answer. After three days we will return to hear what the great king Rehoboam has to say. Counselors, you served my father for many years, and now you are really old. He may be old, your majesty, but we learned much from your very wise father, your majesty. Ahem, I, I think you mean your great and mighty majestic majesty. Your great and mighty majestic majesty. That sounds much better. Your father Solomon treated the people harshly and placed heavy burdens on them. Make these burdens lighter and make life easier for them. They will be your loyal subjects. You sound just like Jeroboam. But we are right about this one thing, your majesty. You should make their burdens lighter. I agree. You will make them love you forever. Wait a minute. I am the king. Yes, the great and mighty majestic majesty. If you want to serve this people well, give a favorable answer to their request, and they will serve you loyally. You are the king. But you can't treat your people like slaves and expect them to follow you. I am king. And I can do whatever I want to do. But your majesty, you can't let me tell you what I can do. I can throw into prison any counselors who disagree with me. Get my point? You are the great, mighty, majestic majesty. You, you can, can do, do whatever, whatever you want. want. You asked me if I was going to make your load lighter. Here is my decision. Yes, Rehoboam? My little finger is thicker than my father's waist. My father placed heavy burdens on you. I will make them even heavier. You are making a mistake, Rehoboam. I am king. I can do whatever I want. Well, Israel, you can do whatever you want. What do you want to do? Down with Rehoboam. Down with David and his family. What have they ever done for us? People of Israel, let's go home. Let Rehoboam look out for himself. Stop this rebellion. I am your king. Obey me. Is Rehoboam your king, people? Not anymore. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him! Kill him! Rehoboam, Kill I him. recommend that you run! That was close. 
almost all of the tribes of Israel left. They went back to their homes in the north. Then they partitioned the land into two different nations. They named their own land Israel. The only tribe that followed Rehoboam was Judah, so he became king only of the people who lived in the territory of Judah. So the promised land was split in half. One half of the land, the south part, included Judah, Jerusalem, and Benjamin. That land was called Judah, after the tribe of Judah. The kings of Judah were all descended from King David, except for Athaliah. So, the descendants of David ended up ruling over the southern half of the land. The people who went back home formed a new nation and made Jeroboam their king. Long live Jeroboam! Long live Jeroboam! I will be a good king. I will follow the Lord God. And Judah is the enemy. Down with Judah! Down with Judah! Is Jerusalem the enemy too? Hmm, well, Jerusalem is in Judah, so yes, Jerusalem is the enemy. Down with Judah! Down with Judah! Long live Jeroboam! Long live Jeroboam! Down with Judah! Down with Judah! Down with Judah! Down with Judah! Wait a minute! Where are you going? I am going to Jerusalem, bringing my sacrifice for Passover. But Jerusalem belongs to Judah, and Judah is the enemy. Down with Judah! Down with Judah! But it's Passover, Your Majesty. The law commands us to bring our sacrifices to the temple, and the temple is in Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is in Judah. Hmm. Make your sacrifices here in our new country of Israel. But we don't have a temple. Then let's build a temple. But the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob allows only one temple, and that temple has to be in Jerusalem. Hmm. Okay. Then we will worship other gods who want us to build lots of temples anywhere we wish. So let's build lots of temples to lots of gods. So, do I have to go to Jerusalem? No. Stay right here in the Northern Kingdom and offer your sacrifices in our city of Samaria. We, we like sin. sin. 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 We we like sin. sin.